Righto, tell you there. Now, I'm in the process of testing this laptop here is, is the Gigabyte Aorus X7 V8. It is a 17 inch gaming laptop. And I wanted to see how far I could actually overclock that CPU, how far I could overclock this six core, eighth generation i7 CPU, because obviously I'm testing for performance right now. Now, first and foremost, this thing is bonkers, this laptop. Don't have pictures of it yet. The review will be coming soon. So make sure you subscribe to see that. And give me a like if you like these sort of benchmarking videos where I can show you the thermals and how far I can overclock it. This thing is bonkers. It is without a doubt the most powerful laptop I've reviewed, period. We're talking six cores, GTX 1080, full GTX 1080, can output to an 8K display. It's a friggin' monster. It's got a DAC built in. It's x right G-Sync. It is a friggin' monster absolute beast of a beast anyway let's get into the overclocking how far can i overclock it now this has the i7-8850h so it's not the 8750h which i actually thought it was but it's not so this one's partially unlocked it's not the i9 has a base frequency of 2.6 whereas the normal 8750h has a 2.2 base frequency and it boosts single core up to 4.3 gigahertz. Now I did actually say when I was testing it, it's the 8750H, it's not, it's the 8850H. Just make sure you bear that in mind. But the thing is, don't buy the i9, this thing here, this overclocks like a champ. I can pump in, you will not believe how much watts I can pump into this. You'll see, stay tuned. Okay, before I start, I wanna know down there in the comments, please comment how many watts you think I can actually pump into this. It's stock 45 watts, boosting, it can actually use 56 watts maximum. And yes, it can use a little bit more, but 56 is pretty much the max. How many watts do you think I can pump into it? Let me know down there in the comments. We'll see how close you are. And I think my man, Mr. Rodriguez, who's one of my Patreon supporters, will be very interested in this. Okay, so what we have here is the CPU running all cores, and we have it at around the low 70 degrees there. I am pushing 65 watts into this baby, 65 watts into this sucker right here. We're getting a clock speed, all core burst here of 3.7. It's very stable. I've got a 150 millivolt undervolt, and I'll show you that in a minute. But stock, this would push about 3.2, something like that. <clears throat> so it's a big, massive uh, boost just from undervolting and pushing that wattage off. I think 56 watts is the um, stock configuration. So we're just going to XTU here, as you can see there. I have indeed pushed in 65 watts and I've got that 150 millivolt undervolt there. Now, you wouldn't be able to push 65 watts into this without undervolting it, I don't think. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll push it. We'll see how far we can push it. We'll go to 70, 70 watts. Uh, it's probably going to crash now. Let's apply this. Oh, oh here we go on there. 70 watts. What does that equal in clock speed? Okay, 3.8 now. The fans are starting to kick in a bit heavier, a bit faster, should I say. And we're getting 3.8 gigahertz at, what do we got here? 70 watts, wow, that's a lot of power. So the cooling is really good on this. Let's go one more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's do something stupid. 75 watts. What does 75 watts equal? <laughs> I'm really impressed with the cooling on this. Uh, let's apply that. And we have 75 watts. Are we overheating yet? No, still only 75. Okay, what is that equal to in clock speed? Oh, 3.9 now. Woof. 3.9, pretty much 3.9 there. Can we get the 4 gigahertz? How much watts does it require to get the freaking 4 gigahertz? Jesus. I didn't think I'd be pumping that many watts into this. 
84, okay. That's about the limit. You don't want to go too much more than 80, mid-80s there. Um, but 74 watts, 75 watts I'm pumping into this. 3.9. Come on, we'll go for the 4 gigahertz. Let's go for, let's go for 80 watts. 80 watts. Let's go. Yes. Yes. 80. Oh, I'm a bit scared to apply this. Let's do it. 80 watts? Yes. We are doing 80 watts. What's the temperatures? 86. Okay, it's crept up a little bit. 3.9. It's nearly 4 gigahertz. Now, this is absolutely pounding the i9 at the moment. This is the i7, by the way. It's the 8750H. So... Amazing, we're getting nearly three, well, we're getting 3.9. Oh, that's four, that's nearly four gigahertz there. Package temperature, we are running at, oh, no, it's not even that hot. Considering the amount of watts I'm putting in, 80 watts. Are you kidding me? I'm going for 85. Why not? The cooling seems that good that, well, I'm going to pump in 80 watts. Ah, uh, that's cool. Oh, here we go. Okay. Of course, as I said, you won't be able to do this unless you undervolt. 85 watts of power. Alright, the fans are kicked well and truly kicked in now. You will be able to hear them. And we'll apply that. Okay. Does it want to go to... No, no, yes, yes, we're running at 85 watts. Is it? Is it actually running at 85 watts? Let's have a look here. What do we get for clock speeds? No, I think it's maxed out. Yeah, I think it's backed off a bit there. Let's have a look. 86 to 4. Yeah, it just started to throttle a touch. But it's going up to, yeah, 80 watts. 80 watts is like the limit there. Undervolted, minus 1.6, and we started to get a bit of throttle in there. But we got that up to 3.9 um, without issue. And then when I pumped in the number 5 watts, up to 85 watts, um, yeah, it just started to back off a little bit. But that is unbelievable. There's a 45-watt part. I'm pumping 80 watts into this sucker. Yes, it does have that 150 millivolt undervolt, but amazing cooling, amazing chip on this. I doubt you'll be able to do this on every chip, but this Gigabyte Aorus, um, it is a freaking